hello 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 guys welcome back again to our channel it's EO's marketplace news so this is Alex signing in to give you the latest news and updates about EOS and other currencies okay now for today's breaking news the European blockchain partnership finds Europe getting serious about distributed ledger technology so stay tuned for more details and then I will be um, reminding you or inviting you again for those first timers out there or who haven't um, or you didn't know about the um, game conference or the crypto games conference I will be inviting you that will be on October 17 to 18 in Minsk, Belarus and I will be also or I will also be showing you um, a site a very good site where you can have your research okay this is at archive.aweber.com it's a newsletter daily newsletter so this site you will have a lot of websites also that is um, very useful for um, who you um for very useful for those who view out there who are doing their research right or who are planning to invest then this site is a very useful okay now going back um for today's news this is brought to you by PCN or preferred currency news it's also a good site um excuse me you can read or you can subscribe to this website so that you will be the first one to get notified on news and updates okay now um, before I give you the details about the news again and again and again I would like to clear this thing that we are not financial advisors okay so we will not be giving you um, advices about how, what to invest where to invest or you need to invest in this specific token or coin right um, you need to make your own research about the tokens or coin that we already mentioned in our videos if you have seen our videos or that we will be mentioning in our future videos okay we really we highly recommend that you do your own research and then you can decide for yourself after all right okay so let's start um, the European blockchain partnership finds Europe getting serious about distributed ledger technology now on April 10 2018 21 EU member states and Norway signed up to create the European blockchain partnership including the UK France Germany Sweden the Netherlands and Ireland they committed themselves to cooperate in the establishment of a European blockchain services infrastructure or EBSI all right that will support the delivery of cross-border digital public services with the highest standards of security and privacy since April, a further five nations have joined the partnership with Italy becoming the latest to do so after it signed the partnership's declaration in September. As a member, it has committed itself to helping to identify by the end of 2018. An initial set of cross-border digital public sector services that could be deployed through the European blockchain service, um, services infrastructure. By, <clears throat> excuse me, by bringing distributed ledger technology or DLT to European infrastructure, the partnership hopes to make cross-border services such as those related to logistics and regulatory reporting safer and more efficient. However, progress towards this goal has so far been slow and piecemeal with the partnership's members having had only three meetings since April nonetheless it retains ambitious aims with the European Commission telling Cointelegraph that is what that it wants the European blockchain services infrastructure or EBSI to become an international gold standard for a large-scale DLTs okay so here European blockchain partnership 
initial members of partnership um, Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Czech Republic, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Ireland, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, um, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, United Kingdom. Members that joined later, Cyprus, uh, Cyprus, Denmark, Greece, Italy, Romania. Okay, EU members that have not joined the partnership, Croatia and Hungary. Okay, still deciding. So far, the partnership's mission is vaguely defined. Now, while there was already agreement in April that it would work towards developing cross-border, blockchain-based public services, um, there is still no actual agreement on what particular services to hone in on and develop. The European Commission's Head of Digital Innovation and Blockchain, Pitris Zel um, Zelgalvis, explains that the partnership mission is defined in the joint declaration and it is on that mandate that we have to deliver before the end of the year in that uh, in the joint declaration the signatories committed to working together and with the european commission in order to develop an EBSI that can support the delivery of cross-border digital public services in Europe. So the description of what the services infrastructure could look like is what we are currently working on. In other words, the partnership membership is currently at the very early stage of negotiating just what kind of blockchain-based public services to develop. However, as Zil, um, Zil Gavis explained to Cointelegraph, it expects to have agreed on all the fundamental de details by the end of the year so that these can be used as the basis of actually building and rolling out distributed cross-border technologies. As stated in the joint declaration, by end of 2018, the partnership must provide a set of use cases of cross-border digital public services that can be deployed through the EBSI, a set of functional and techno um, technical specifications for the EBSI, and finally, a governance model describing how the EBSI will be managed. A global reference for blockchain. The partnership and its members will therefore be busy, um, be busy for the rest of 2018, although it has only three more meetings left to hammer out um, the all-important details, having already had three meetings so far. According to Finland's representative to the partnership, um, Kimo McKinnon, a senior advisor of the De Department of Public Sector Digitalization, the most recent meeting took place on September 17. This was the third meeting, he tells Cointelegraph. The main topic was to discuss about the most prominent cross-border blockchain use cases that had been proposed by member states and by the Commission. As for whether the partnership will successfully decide on all the necessary parameters before the start of 2019, McKinnon doesn't offer confirmation. We will have three monthly meetings by the end of this year, during which we will have to agree not only on use cases, but also technical functional requirements and governance model for European blockchain infrastructure. He says, his use of not only implying that the partnership has a more than sizable workload to get through before Christmas. We hope. All right. Now, still, uh, still, even though three meetings and no particular end product hardly counts as an impressive achievement, these uh, me uh, meetings were positive for the partnership. Okay, that's a good sign. More importantly, um, they've revealed a strong commitment among its members towards developing blockchain technologies, as explained by Peteris Zelgalvis. 
At these meetings, we found that the partners were extremely supportive of collective efforts to establish strong EU leadership in dist um, distributed ledger technology, drawing on the digital single market framework and that EBSI could play a very important role in achieving this objective. Indeed, it would appear that the European Blockchain partner uh, Partnership is being used by the European Commission as a vehicle for the EU becoming a global leader on DLT. In the longer term, we would like EBSI to become a global reference when it comes to trusted blockchain infrastructures, admits Zell Galvez a gold standard infrastructure that is governed through a transparent multi-stakeholder organization meets the most advanced cybersecurity and energy efficiency standard is scalable to accommodate different use cases is highly performant in the terms of speed and throughput ensures the continuity of services on the long term on the, uh, on the long term, integrates um, EIDAS or Electronic Identification Authentication and Trust Services and supports full compliance with the EU requirements on data protection, general data protection regulation and network information security. All right, so even if the partnership hasn't really achieved anything concrete yet, yes, its, signif um, its significance lies in the fact that it represents a massive vote of confidence in blockchain technology by committing to it and by aiming to build highly performant blockchain tech. The partnership's 27 member nations have effectively declared that they believe DLT is here to stay and that it has genuine applicability to range of areas. Separately, each member is for their own purposes interested in blockchain tech from a variety of different perspectives. Further, testify, um, testifying to blockchain's growing status as a promising new solution to a range of problems. Finland is interested and curious of new possibilities that are to be presented by blockchain technology acknowledges Kimo Mackinnon in order to boost cross-border services, for example, in matters related to document authenticity, data change, and identity management. Right. It's really, um, we just hope for that, guys. We just hope for this. So, implementation mode in 2019. Okay, of course, well, there's a little doubt uh, that the partnership's sig signatories are completely serious about DLT. There still remains the unavoidable question of when exactly, right? It will produce and begin introducing the platforms it was set up to build will despite. Um, well, sorry, well, um, Despite there not being anything absolutely definite on this front, um, Peter Zil Galvis states that we may begin we may begin seeing actual output as early as next year. Let's um, let's see. Okay, let's see. These I'm excited. These deliverables, functional and technical specifications, governance model will be addressed to the political representative who signed the declaration. And if approved, the partnership could move into implementation mode in 2019. All right. Now, once again, this time, um, once again, this time frame is ambitious. But even if certain differences of opinion may need to be ironed out between members before implementation can begin, the target of 2019 shows just how confident the European Commission is that the partnership's member, excuse me, member states are on the same page with regards to blockchain, which is further indicated by them signing its declaration in the first 
um, in the first place. So if the partnership does indeed follow through with its plans and implements blockchain-based cross-border infrastructure, this will only have positive, um, positive um, ramifications and knock-on effects for wider blockchain adoption elsewhere. All of which means that the future of blockchain adoption in Europe looks increasingly bright. All right. Sorry if um, I um, I always have I, I talk like this like that because um, I'm having a bit of I don't know why, but okay. So guys, here. Um, this news again is brought to you by PCN Preferred Currency News. So. Um, this is a really good site. They give you the latest news and updates, okay? Because as me, as a, also a researcher, I find this site very um, useful. And you can always have the updates that you need or that you want to hear about or that you know or you want to know about. So what are you waiting for? You can subscribe at www.preferredcurrency.news all right now if you will subscribe uh, if you will subscribe to this website you can be the first one to get notified of the new updates okay that's via email or if you want um, you want to be the first one to read the news or the daily news um, we will be sending you email for sure it's not a spam okay we will be sending out uh, I mean, they, they will be sending you the most important letter. Okay. Now, you can use PayPal for a monthly recurring. That's only $15 a month fiat. Or use the Coinbase option show here, shown here, for only $180 annual subscription to be paid, of course, with crypto. Okay. So, this is a really good site. You can just be an affiliate right just click here affiliate and then you need to I think you need to register right here please log in if you have already an account and please register if you don't have if you don't have any accounts yet all right so guys moving forward after the breaking news I want you to um, take down notes, okay? Here, and it's the daily newsletter. It's archive.aweber.com. And this one, uh, and this website, rather, you can have a lot of websites that will be very useful if you are doing your research. Why? Because with one website, imagine, with one website, you can have the daily news, all right here the daily news and in here when you scroll down okay here is a great website where you can get alerts about your eos transaction so not just for researcher for eos holders for eos users out there you can visit this site and in this site you can have the useful websites or um find websites that you can check out for example, again, here, here's a great website where you can get alerts about your EOS transactions. So the link is available here. And then to get the latest EOS marketplace news from the experts, subscribe here. So yes, that's preferredcurrency.news. Again, don't forget to subscribe, right? And then in your Chrome browser, go to EOS marketplace news. You can add your listings there. Okay, so if you have um, products or services that you want to list uh, using, for example, EOS token or EOS coins or other currencies, then maybe you can. Go to PCN.today for the latest news. Like our news for today it was brought to you by PCN. Um, here, Twitter, you can follow... Our web subscribers can also go to twitter.com preferred crypto okay so here as you can see there are a lot of information that is available on this website so I think here I've read it here that they offer the seven levels and how to get 
Okay, let's see. Here, if you want a good way to buy MITX, FSN, One World, and QLash tokens, sign up here for Cryptos Exchange. You can also earn extra tokens. See? You can also earn extra tokens for referring others to this exchange. You want to know why? Visit archive.aweber.com and visit this site. You just need to click the link. Check out this free online marketplace. Free platform, no restrictions. Earn cryptocurrency here. Wow. No listing fees. Buy or sell with cryptocurrency here worldwide. Okay. Now for USA residents, you can now spend crypto across the globe at over 38 million Visa merchants using your LTC, BCH, ETH, and what else? BTC. Okay, so you can now get a Visa debit card link to your LTC, BCH, ETH, or BTC. Now, if you want, you can click this one for some more tips to help you get started. Wow, so this one is very helpful, guys. This, uh, just, what are you waiting for? Just visit the website, archive.aweber.com. All right, no worries, I will be posting this link, these links to my video. All right, so for the last topic for tonight, again and again and again, I am inviting you to the Crypto Games Conference. You have one day. Okay, take note, guys. One day. One more day for the Crypto Games Conference. That would be on October 17 and 18 at Minsk, Belarus. All right. So, if you don't have any tickets yet, um, visit their site, CryptoGames.Events. You can buy tickets here. And if you want to um, give sponsorship, you can. All right. So, for those of you who, um, who was not informed about the Crypto Games Conference, or what is Crypto Game Conference, let me give you a bit or uh, an idea. Okay. Again, it will be on October 17 and 18. And Crypto Games Conference is the first international conference dedicated to games and game services with the use of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. The aim of the summit is to unite the worlds of games, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and other cutting-edge technologies. Um, discuss the profound implications of their convergence and discover the new opportunities that result from their synergy synergies. So guys, I think I really want to go and I really want to attend the conference, right? So there are 600 plus professionals, 100 plus brands, 65 plus speakers and 25 plus countries. Imagine you will be meeting a lot, a lot, a lot of people. You, you will be learning a lot of new things. You will be enjoying at the same time and right. You will be experiencing it for the first time. You will have added memories and added experience. So book your tickets now and buy tickets and then just visit cryptogames.events. So here, there will be games, there will be um, meetings, right? So this event, uh, this conference will be huge and great. All right. So, guys, that's all for today's video. And I'm hoping that you enjoy this video. And please, please, please visit the website. Okay? Now, thank you so much for watching. This has been Alex now signing off. Bye.